Entrepreneurs, social psychologists and economic theorists have all speculated whether entrepreneurs are born or made, in other words, whether you're predisposed to become an entrepreneur due to your genetic makeup, or whether that disposition comes from your environment, conditioning or other external influences. For most entrepreneurial hopefuls, it's comforting to think that entrepreneurs are made, that even if you lack the right DNA, enough practice, experience and conditioning can help you be a success. But step away from that comfort zone, because research seems to indicate the opposite, entrepreneurship rates, it turns out, especially rates of entrepreneurship success, are influenced more by a person's genes than his or her upbringing and degree of nurturing. Fortunately for the majority of entrepreneurial hopefuls, however, there's a catch. There have been many studies attempting to answer this question, and they've landed on each side of the argument. In the nature versus nurture debate, looking at factors beyond entrepreneurship, the most effective studies have been those done on twins, because they naturally share DNA, but may have experienced different environments and upbringings. An important distinction here is that identical twins share 100% of the same genetic information, while fraternal twins share 50%. One study that looked at entrepreneurial tendencies specifically, was done by Scott Shane, a professor at Case Western Reserve University. Shane looked at hundreds of pairs of twins, eventually finding that the identical twins among them had much higher rates of shared entrepreneurial tendencies than their fraternal counterparts or subjects in the control group. Further exploration of data, including the research of molecular genetics, has traced this genetic heritability to four core entrepreneurial traits, each of which increases the likelihood of becoming an entrepreneur, while also being heritable. 1. The likelihood of starting a business. Genes can influence your probability of starting a business. 2. The ability to identify new opportunities. Your ability to identify business opportunities is similarly heritable. 3. The tendency to become self-employed. Related to but distinct from starting a business, self-employment is also a heritable probability. 4. Extroversion. Though extroversion by itself isn't enough to motivate entrepreneurship, extroverts have an easier time making new connections, leading followers and engaging in a wider community. The entrepreneurial mindset is no more a skill than having red hair as a skill. You can't be taught and you can't learn something which refers to your psychological makeup, your nature and personality. Of course, you can mimic the behaviors and traits of other people, but the pretense does not create a reality. Willingness to take risks, the spontaneous identification of opportunities, a creative approach to challenges all of these are traits, they are not learned and they cannot be taught. You have them, or you don't. Naturally, everything is a matter of degree, but when your behavior and choices are often or substantially guided by these traits and predispositions, then you may be classified as an entrepreneur. That gets us to the skills which may help you in your enterprise. Sales, strictly speaking, are not a skill, either. Sales are simply the willful exchange of one value for another. Curiosity, compassion, empathy, a sense of humor and intelligence may be helpful. But those, too, are not skills they are traits and intrinsic abilities. So what are the skills with respect to sales? Learning how to listen is a skill which may be acquired, more specifically, active listening. Speaking plainly and powerfully may also be learned. Teasing out the difference between what is said and what is meant is also a skill which can be taught. On the phone, making cold calls is difficult because it is an unnatural act. No one customarily invades the space of someone else in an effort to make them give up some money. Well, maybe thugs do this, but that's why it is anathema for nearly everyone else. There are various techniques which may be learned and I suggest you Google for videos about cold calling to get some ideas. But keep this one thought in mind, you are not selling the end result you want on your first call. You are selling the next few moments to continue the conversation. Now, do your research on the methods.